Hi, my name is Marie and I joined the Peel family two months ago. So they are giving me homework and today's assignment is to go with you through the workflow of getting ready to use 3D entities to design from in a CAD software. So, step one, we're going to scan the exhaust on this Mustang 69 with the Peel 2 scanner and then we'll go back to the office for the post-treatment in our bridge software, Peel to CAD. I came prepared, I came with Louis Etienne, he's been doing this for more than 10 years now, so it's not his first scan and he's going to give us a few tips along the way. The scanner creates a live mesh for us and now we're going to save it as is, as an STL file. First post-treatment step, uh, clean the mesh and keep only what we need. Now it's time to use peel to cat toolbox to extract all the important geometrical entities we'll be needing. The mesh itself can be useful as sort of a reference in a CAD, but it's a dead entity, a bit like an empty piñata, so depending on which CAD you're using, chances are you'll be needing at least a few planes and entities here and there to work your way through a design. So in this case, mostly cylinders to build the pipes and a few planes to locate the brackets and mufflers. Now that we've created all the entities we need, we export them together as step files and we also save the mesh. Now time to open Fusion 360. This specific CAD software has a tool which allows us to create sketches from mesh cross sections. To create these cross sections, you see here we're using the plane we saved earlier in peel to cad So here you can see how the mesh can still be useful as a reference to sort of design around. Now that we're done with the muffler, we start drying the pipes. The way we're doing it is we create straight lines using the axis of the cylinders we've created in peel to cad then we create a few polylines and we make sure that they are aligned with the axis. We check on the diameters and we have our pipes. Very similar process for all the small brackets. Uh, since many of them are the same, we can copy, paste and just move them to the right locations. And there you go, we now have a complete 3D model of the exhaust. You can expect a project like that to take about half a day. You can see the breakdown here. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more customer projects or tutorials, make sure you visit our Instagram and YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We're here to help.